you will be able to okay we're starting the final part the final episode of uh, the council it's imperative I'll take care of preparing our departure she she has to pay for all the harm she's done to me meanwhile let us remain on our guard against any last minute surprises I know my brother well he never prepares for war if he has no chance of winning finding out that I'm a demon makes no difference I haven't come all this way just Love that. To Love that that's what so Louis has to, to say. If I'm asking you all these things, it's for your own good, you know. You are keeping up the good work, I see. But I'm telling you, keep your guard up. Everyone is rather on edge right now. Don't make me your competition, Duriche. You are no match. Here's all the lovely people. We've met. Hopefully, we can kill Trust them all yourself. off. It's all already in there. So I've definitely killed a few people. And I think that's okay. <laughs> Most of them have been pretty unlikable. Oh wait, my mother's supposed to be dead. I did kill my mother. Good times. Up in old Morty's study. I don't know what episode 5 is called. Checkmate. Oh. Dear friends, I'd like to thank you for your continued trust and confidence. I admit that during these past few days, there has been much upheaval. I understand you've all been affected by this. Nevertheless, the world doesn't stop turning, and we are in fact on the verge of reshaping the modern world. That is what we are all here for, my lord. Thank you for your enthusiasm, Monsieur Bonaparte. Now you all know what we have to do. I cannot warn you strongly enough. If one of Sir Gregory's guests asks to speak with you, remain on your guard. It is highly likely that he will try to rally as many supporters to his cause as he can. Don't worry, William. We are all here to support your project through to its conclusion. Thank you, George. Now, please, go and get some rest before the conference begins, which won't be long now. Louis, Wait, stay with me. Wait, how long do we have to sleep for, though? I'll be needing your services in a certain matter. Yes, of course. What's the matter? Louis, you are the only one here who I totally trust. It is very likely that Gregory will take possession of some of the members of our team. I shall keep them in check over the next few hours. However, I'll need you to... How can I say this? To persuade the members of Gregory's group. Mm. What do you mean by that exactly? You'll have free reign, my son. Persuade all of them. Thanks, Dad. Use every possible means imaginable. But no physical violence. Let's be very So not every possible means. That. You must bring them all over to our side. One after the other. Louis has no can doubt. Do this. I know it. Very well, father. Now go and come back and see me once you've finished. I'll be off then. Okay. Got to get get these right. Uh, I still don't have any books I, that I can read. I haven't been able to read a book for like the last like three parts, I think. On we go. Persuade them to vote for Lord Mortimer. I don't think the Lady Hillsborough one's going to go that well. I'll be honest, because I think she's insane. Oh no, she's a demon though. Hmm. Kyaji. I don't know, he's pretty against it, I think. I'm guessing we just go to the room. So here's Walner's room. So hopefully he's in here. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to look up a walkthrough. Why is he studying such a mess. Looks like Volner's planning something. Okay, he is not in here, so I'm probably gonna have to find out where. Um, nice jelly. Where um, where they all are? Is there a coin? That that's moonlight. Look, a a blotter, and apparently it's been used recently. I wonder what Volner was going to write. It's smudged. It's not all legible. I can make out the signature though and leave as Azif planned le Um Ooh. So we could decode it or we could let's try and do this one first, because that's quite expensive. <sighs> it's illegible. Let's see if I can find a solution in Volner's things here. Given his interest in alchemy. I wouldn't be surprised if I found something that revealed what's written somewhere in his room. 
uh, like that alchemical table of symbols with one circled, perhaps? How do I look at that? A table of alchemical symbols? Someone circled the zinc symbol. Okay, so it could be that. What a mess. Looks like Volnor was interrupted. Hmm. Examine the things. Looks a lot like straw. And he's drawn something in a hurry. Oh, shit. God, it's another one of these weird puzzles. At least this is free. Straw on his desk. As if to... As if to protect something fragile. Yes. Someone must have packed something away here. Look at the sketches. I get the feeling that... I've seen that somewhere before. I do recognize those symbols. <laughs> do we do occultism or vigilance? I've seen occult inscriptions like this before. They're not very common. As a matter of fact, I've only seen them once before, around the Lock of Alazif. Okay, that hasn't actually taught me anything. Uh, read the letter? No. We can search his little cabinet. Okay. Uh, wow. Like five minutes in. Just locked with a four-letter code. Oh sure God. Really close to the owner's heart. Zinc. It's probably zinc, isn't it? Z. I. Wow, I actually figured that one out without looking up a walkthrough. Amazing. I got some theatrium chemicum. Fantastic. God, this is going to be a long fucking quest if like I'm just searching a room right now and I haven't found any of these four people I'm gonna look up a guide for where they are a chemistry set that's not surprising coming from von Wolner zinc I should find something to help reveal the traces of ink on the blotter what might do the trick god that's expensive my science is terrible that one's terrible too Did we just YOLO it? What would reveal the traces of ink? This one. That sounds vaguely familiar. I can always give it a shot. Here we go. Yes, it worked. Now Does I it actually it. work? Sir Gregory. I just YOLO'd that one. Al Azif at the landing stage at the appropriate time. Yours truly, Johann von Volner. This is child's play. Still no guide up for that. That was just a guess. A very, very lucky guess. Um, okay, now I'm going to pop up the, the guide to see where these fuckers are. Okay, let's pop into uh, Piaggi's room. Give him a go. Hello, Father. Cardinal. Your Eminence, would you have a moment? I shouldn't really, Louis, as you can imagine. Rest assured, I come just as a friend. All right then, Louis. But be quick. Thank you, Your Eminence. Uh, it's got nothing to do with it, but... You... You didn't come and see me in my room a few hours ago, did you? Hmm. Does he remember anything? Uh, oh no. No, I'm sorry. Y you must be mistaken. I've been speaking to <laughs> Mortimer in his study. Very, uh, I, uh, very smooth there, Louis. It, then. it seems so real. It's weird that he remembers it, yourself, though. Your Eminence. We're all exhausted. I can assure you of that. That's very kind of you, Louis. I don't know what's wrong with me at the moment, but... I feel rather fragile. Poor man seems terrified. It'd be a good idea if I reassured him a little before trying to get him to change sides. Jesus oh, loves you, my you son. Want from me exactly. How about Honorable? That's too expensive. Be quite a dream. God be with Damn you. Means, don't worry over such small matters. Only chance God of fuck. Sees you and knows the value of his servants. <sighs> Thank you, my son. You've worked all your life to spread the good word. Don't worry, your eminence. I'm sure you'll find the answer to your dreams. God is with you, and he will show you what you need to know. You are right, Louis. Thank you for your kind. Oh my god, that worked. Please excuse me, Louis, if I've wasted your time. You came to see me about the confidence, I imagine. And here I go rambling on about uh, I don't know what nonsense. No need to apologize, your eminence. Think nothing of it. <sighs> what did you want to speak to me about? Right. It's now or never to get him to change his mind. Um, guilty or wrong idea? Uh, Your Eminence, the, the truth is, 
I've come to persuade you that oh, no. Gregory is a serious mistake. Louis, I've stopped you right there. Ooh, I probably fucked that up. Political conspiracies. If that is the only reason for your visit, then I'd rather we stop this discussion right away. Is there anything else? Oh, I no. Can... Don't take this the wrong way, Louis. But I would like to be on my own just now. As I already said, I shouldn't even have opened the door to you. And I'm exhausted. I won't change my vote for the conference. I'm sorry. Ooh, I... that sucks. Yes, I'm sorry. Please excuse me, I, I didn't mean to bother you. I'll be on my way now. Damn it. I'll have to tell Mortimer that I didn't manage to convince Piaggi. I think that's the first confrontation I've failed. I just thought logic was a good one to go for, you know? Damn it. Uh, okay, let's go try Emily, since- or Emma. Oh god, Emma's insane. <laughs> okay, here's Emma's room, I'm sure this will go fine. Emma? Come in, Louis. What can I do for you? What, with the conference soon upon us? I, I would have thought that- You are absolutely right. I wanted to wait a bit before talking to you, but as you are here, I've been thinking about what we shall do once we get back. How to arrange the house, prepare the rooms for the children. Oh yes, my goodness. I want three, and the first one will be a boy. We shall call him Louis, like his father. Oh man, this just keeps getting worse. She's drifting deeper into madness. Oof. No, I don't I don't think she I, poor poor Emma. I do feel bad for Emma, she kinda of suffered a lot. How to help her. Right. I can't exactly leave her like this, let alone allow her to be manipulated for the sake of this cursed conference. Mortimer has to help her. Please excuse me, madam. Just remembered, I've got something to do. Come back quickly, my love. Uh, I'll see you later, madam. I must warn Mortimer that she can't go on like this. I'm sure he can help her. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll obviously go to him later. Uh, and I just need to go to Godoy's room, which is there. Godoy? Godoy's room? Yes. I don't even remember who Godoy is. See the, the fancy looking fella? Nope, it's this guy. I thought I was Bonaparte. Duke Manuel. Doriche. I'm delighted to see you're standing by Lord Mortimer. One cannot say that the situation is altogether reassuring, but I must admit, he does know what he's doing. Something tells me I've made the right choice. So, to thank you for persuading me to join you, Whoa. What would you say to a nice piece of amber? I must have done that already or something. understand that you collect it? Yes. Thank you very much, sir. Sweet. Don't mention it to it, sir. It is the least I can do. Good. See you at the vault. I'll see you later, then. Right. Godoy is on board. Oh. Thanks, sucker. Uh, now I gotta- oh, I'm still in his room. Gotta go find Walner, who wasn't in his room. Apparently he's in the dining room. How would I have known that? <sighs> I need to talk to Von Volner. Blasted. Home is with him. Gentlemen. Louis! I'm sorry, but we are waiting for Duke Manuel. If you wouldn't mind leaving us, I should think you already have enough to do as it is. Very well. I didn't mean to disturb you. They're waiting for Duke Manuel. No doubt to make him change sides. <sighs> All right. If they want him, then they'll get him. Ooh, time to possess Manuel. Uh, Godoy. Not Napoleon, apparently. Yes, monsieur. Is there something you wanted to add? Concentrate. A bit I of demonic listen possession. Listen carefully to what I have to say, Godoy. I am all ears. We push. I need you to do me a little favor. It's working. That's it, Louis. Get in his head. Oh, dear. What is happening to me? I, I do not feel very well. I need your help, sir. Get in his head. Got him. Perfect. Thank you, monsieur. I'm sure I'll know how to take full advantage of your vessel, now that I am Manuel. <laughs> a little bit unnecessary flexing there, Louis. I'm back, lads. I mean, I'm here for the first time, lads. Duke Manuel, here you are at last. Sir Gregory, Mr. Von Volner. Thank you for agreeing to this meeting. I shan't beat about the bush, my friend. I was very disappointed by your behavior. I had thought you more loyal. Consequently, my affection for you leads me to ask you to reconsider one last time. I've already reconsidered it, Sir Gregory. I shall be loyal to you when it comes to the vote. 
have no doubt about it. Excellent news indeed, my friend. Did you hear, Johan? Yes, and it comes at a most timely moment. I anticipate an overwhelming victory. It goes without saying to keep it to yourself. I would like to give William a nice surprise. Whatever you say. I'll leave you with Johan a while. I still have a few things to settle. I shan't be long. See you later, Sir Gregory. Ah, now we can talk. I can persuade him. Here. I'm warming myself up. I had the misfortune to step outside and I'm frozen solid. I tricked him, mate. I wonder what he was doing outside. Something to do with what Holm asked him for. That's so muffled. He's back from the landing stage. Damn. He must have gone to deposit Al Azif for someone to pick up. Oh no, that's where home went, Volga, maybe. I wanted to speak to you. I'd like to make you an offer you can't refuse. I'm all ears. Now, we don't have much time, so here it is. You will vote for Mortimer. What a strange idea, Kodoy. You are being ridiculous. Tell me now, why would I do that? He's a liar. Uh... Free? Sir Gregory has been taking us for a ride right from the start. When it comes to this operation, he isn't championing the interests of our respective nations. All he cares about is beating Lord Mortimer at his own game. Oh, come, Manuel. Where are you getting this from? <sighs> Thought it was there Manuel. There was even one decision by Sir Gregory that was in favor of Prussia. My God, man. I didn't know you were so excessive. You don't want to answer? I will. Just... Uh... Let me think. Oh, let me read his, read his mind. We'll only get mere crumbs out of Poland. It will go to Russia. And I hope you're ready for a global war because I doubt France will agree to our coalition. True. Said like that. I don't know. I'm not criticizing. I'm in the same boat as you. Spade will docilely follow home without getting anything in return. You are wasting your time, Duke Manuel. You know nothing about me, and your attempts to manipulate me have no effect. You behave as though we were close. Yet ever since you arrived, you've only been interested in your own little self. Don't say that, Johan. We may not be friends, but we are allies. Is that so? And what do you know about me, exactly? <laughs> well, let's find out what we know about him. If he knew I was Gregory's son... Oh, okay. <laughs> would ...try it on like this. <laughs> Uh, other, your home son. About you? Next to nothing. Except that you happen to be Sir Gregory Holmes' son, right? What? What do you mean? <laughs> ah, now I'm starting to be of interest to you, no? Uh, I've never spoken to anyone about that. <laughs> Quite surprising, isn't it? You see, I'm full of surprises. In short, whether he's your father or not makes no real difference to me. <sighs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> Come on, Johan. Don't make me laugh. He has never thought of you as his son. I'd wager that you'd always hoped he would one day, even though he treated you like a master treats a useful slave. He is at it's best a useful. mentor. Stop me if I'm wrong. Huh. Uh. But, uh, uh, hooray. Tell me, why do you want to follow Mortimer all of a sudden? Mortimer is planning something. We don't know everything. He must have something up his sleeve to be so confident. Ah, really? And what do you think that might be? Um... What's that one? Manipulate? I don't think I can manipulate him. The version actually seems like the only likely one here even though it's expensive. All of this is just a show. He has contacted all those we represent. What do you mean? Oh. That everything is already decided in higher that spheres. That was very lucky. William Frederick, the King of Spain, the Pope, William Pitt. I don't understand. Lord Mortimer has invited those who work in the wings of power to take a hand in swaying the decisions of those who actually hold it. Everything is already played out. He has already won. <laughs> How is this possible? We've all underestimated him. He's fooled us. We're done for. Look, it all hinges on the next few hours, Johan. Look, I hear everything you're saying, but there is no chance that Mortimer can make us all change sides. That is why Sir Gregory can but win. 
You understand? Think again. It's already too late. Ooh. Psychology or logic? Logic. That clever Dorishe turned them all against... What the... All of them. One by one, he somehow persuaded them to join Mortimer. That's a lie. No. I fucked up a couple possible. of them. It looks like all of us have seriously underestimated him. While we all thought he was running around after his poor mother, he was actually accomplishing the tour de force of winning us all over. One. And he's actually so other. incredibly handsome. You're the only one left, Johan. I dare not Said imagine Godoy. what Mortimer will do if he finds out you are against him. Because from now on, you're on your own. Good luck. No, no. Wait. I... I hear you. Honestly, betraying Gregory is... Well, it's... It's unthinkable. Unless I simply don't have any choice. Yay, we got Walner. Finally cracked. Thank you. I got half of them, Warrior. and I might be able to get Emma. You're welcome. There is nothing more natural between allies. I did what I could. Now, it's up to you. As for me, I'll vote for Mortimer. Good luck to you. Good luck. Hooray, we did it. 